all right so it is april 8th solar eclipse day and i'm out here just trying to figure out if they truly get fired up or not or to see what happens when the solar eclipse happens or the day of whatever i just want to see if fishing's different you know um i experienced the one in 2017 and uh it's mostly cloudy that day so I, I didn't really notice a difference um but it is pure sun out today we're supposed to get 94 percent totality or whatever so we're gonna get a good glimpse of it it's gonna get dark here probably for a little while um i don't know how much i'm gonna be fishing through that time but it is about an hour and a half before it starts so uh we're pretty close to count down here so that's what i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna be throwing uh, moving baits bladed jigs spinner baits um, part of this tournament right now where you can use anything with a blade on it so i'm gonna be casting a lot of bladed baits so uh hopefully you enjoy thanks for watching That's a beauty. That's an absolute beauty. All right, let's get them measured up. We're gonna call that, I'll say 17 and a quarter. Nah, 17, we'll call it 17. It's a huge 17 incher. Thanks for the battle, buddy. Solar eclipse day, and I'm out here fishing. I just want to see if the fish get fired up from this eclipse. I just want to know if all the moon phases and all that crazy stuff that people always talk about. Like, I follow it a little bit, but I just follow you know, overnight temps, daytime temps, wind, precipitation, the moon phases, I don't know, kind of gets me sometimes, but I try to look into it. But I just want to know if an eclipse actually does anything, it fires them up. Seventeen and a quarter. Seventeen and a quarter. When I pinch the tail. Very cool. Thank you for the fight. Look at that fish. What a beauty. What a 
big spinner bait. Close your mouth, buddy. Close your mouth. Alright, we're calling that 17 and a half. Mouth closed, pinch tail, 17 and a half. What a butterball. What a butterball. Alright, thanks for the mail. Wow. Alright. So I moved to the wind blown bank. Only been fishing for about a half an hour, caught three nice ones. The eclipse is about to happen in about an hour, hour and 15. I pretty much have to go right when it starts, so it's kind of a bummer. But if I'd have to say, the big ones are coming out. I don't know if that's because the eclipse is happening, but I'll tell you right now, it's the warmest day it's been in two or three weeks. And we had 70 degree days, 60 and 70 degree days all throughout February. And then it's like a second winter came in and uh, it's been just terrible the last few weeks. So. Feels good to get some sunshine. And it's going to be about 60 degrees here today with an eclipse, a lot of wind. I just remember the last eclipse in 2017, it was just super cloudy. So I just didn't notice a difference. Didn't really feel any different and I couldn't even enjoy it either because it was just cloudy. But uh, yeah, this year is going to be much different than seven years ago. Oh, got a little guy. Nice. All right. Oh, he's fired up. I'm not even going to measure this guy. I'm in a tournament right now and it's top three biggest and I've already had three over 17. This guy's probably going to be 11 or 12 inches. Thanks for the battle. And another category is most fish measured, but I'm also not going to get that either because I'm going to have about two days to fish this week and it's a week long tournament. So I know I'm not going to get that many fish this week so I'm just gonna measure the big ones keep on cruising I'm gonna call that 17 and a half. Another 17 and a half. Awesome. That is a huge, huge 17 and a half fish. Oh, thanks for the battle, buddy. Thank you for the fight. Well, I'll say something is going on. 
That's uh, all some pretty big fish right there. Oh, look at that wind. Just some crazy gusts. Yeah, I'd say these fish are fired up. I mean, that fish just got airborne. This water temperature's got to be in the 40s still. But it's going to be a hot day. It, like, the sun is just piercing right now, man. So it's official. The eclipse is about to start. And uh, it's almost 1 o'clock here, Central Time. That's when it's supposed to start. It's supposed to finish around 2. So I don't know how dark it's going to get here, but I'm not about to look up behind me because I don't have the right glasses on. But uh, weapon of choice was definitely the Jack Hammer with the Kitec Pedal Tail. Um, fat swing impact. You can tell the wind's starting to pick up. The bite started dying the closer it got to the eclipse. So I don't know if that means something or what, but I'll tell you right now, I think it did have an impact because nothing but fatties were biting today. I caught one small fish, the rest of them were just fat and healthy a few of them were over three pounds one felt like it was over four pounds so uh all in all i think uh the eclipse did do something but you know who knows it's pre-spawn anyways the big ones are supposed to come out but that's just gonna be my two cents on it so hopefully you enjoyed thank you very much for watching and if you're new here consider subscribing that'd mean a lot thanks everyone